Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I just thought I would do a quick how-to video on how to install the Any Radiance mod. Now, I had previously done a How to Mod Hollow Knight video, and this is going to be very similar, but in order to play Any Radiance, there are a few extra steps. So I thought I'd go through from the ground up and start from scratch and just walk you through the process step by step. So I've basically just cleared all modding history from my computer as if it never happened for Hollow Knight, and we're going to start from the beginning. So first, the current modding API does not work in the current patch of Hollow Knight. So you want to down patch it by going to, in, and this guide is for Steam, so keep that in mind. I had a few people in my last video ask me about on console or on GOG. I do not know about these. Um, so this is just for Steam, people on Steam, I'm sorry. Uh, go Hollow Knight, properties, go to the betas, and then select the 1.4.3.2 compatibility. And then that will just take a moment to update. Once the game has been down patched, you're going to want to install the modding API, which will be at the anyradiance.host slash mod slash mod installer. Um, you just put, I'll put this web address into the description of this video, and then you can just <clears throat> open it up and install it. I've already got the file and we're going to install it. So, so just after you've downloaded the file, just double click it, mod installer, and it will download. Then uh, there's a couple of things we're going to want to do here. As you can see, there's a lot of mods in the, the modding API, but uh, they're all in alphabetical order, which is really helpful. But there is no any radiance, which is why I decided to make this video. Um, now there's one mod that I always recommend and then there's also one mod that we're going to need for this. The one that I always recommend is the debug mod. So we'll just install that. <laughs> and then the other one which I, uh, we need for this will be the mod common which is here. I'm not going to do that yet and I'm going to show you what happens if you don't install it. Then, Now <clears throat> to get the any radiance I'll leave a link for this as well. There's a Google Drive dll file and you can just download that i already have it in my downloads so we're going to get this what we're going to do is we're going to show pop, pop it in where we put our hollow knight mods so we go to pc c drive program files 86 and we're going to go to steam <clears throat> steam apps common then we go to hollow knight Hollow Knight data managed mods. And we're just going to paste this DLL file, any Radiance DLL, into here. Now I'm going to show you what happens if you don't install Mod Common. Okay, so we just in got home, and you'll see here it says Radiance God of Meme. Now remember, we haven't installed Mod Common, and we're going to see why that's a problem. So now we're at the boss with the title screen. It says any Radiance. But then let's look at the actual fight. So you can see there's no orb barrage like there would be in any radiance. Even though I'm getting hit a lot. It's not like actually... This is not the attacks for any radiance. It's not the proper mod. So well, let's get out and fix this. Alright, so we're back with our mod... Uh, modding API. We just go to mod common, which is under M, and we just install that. This is absolutely necessary if you want to play any radiance. Alright, so we're back at the fight. It says any radiance once again, but now look at the difference in the attacks. You got the, the double pillar of light, you got that orb barrage, you got three of the face needles. And you got the proper beam attack. Oh, two in a row, jeez. I'm anyway. We're gonna get out of this. <laughs> so yeah, that is how you successfully install the Any Radiance mod. Now, there's a couple more things of note. Um, in installing this, in your screen, you'll see it will have a list of the mods. It will say the modding API, the debug mod, and the mod common. It will say Ultimatum Radiance. Don't worry about that. That is Any Radiance for these purposes. It just says Ultimatum Radiance. Another thing to note is that a lot of the popular charm builds for successful Anna Radiance runs use Boulder Shell and Carefree Melody. 
Obviously, Boulder Shell is no issue, but some people, depending on your choices in the game, you will not have Carefree Melody, but you'll have Grimchild like I have. Now, there are two fixes, well, there's three fixes for this. One is to rerun the game and to banish the Grim Troop. The other is to actually get a save file from someone else that has Carefree Melody and is in God Home with that, um, the Radiance open. Um, the third option, which I'm about to show you, is not optimal, but it will at least suffice if you don't want to do if you don't know someone has the save file or you don't want to rerun the game. Equip the Grim Child Charm. Get off the bench, pause your game, and press F1 to bring up the debug mod. The debug mod, sorry. <laughs> Go into Charms and then hit your. See, my full Grim Child is at level four. Hit it to level five. Press F1 to get out of debug mod. Hit the bench again, and this time you'll see that you have Carefree Melody. The reason it's not optimal is for two reasons. Carefree Melody is meant to cost three Charm Notches, and now it only costs two, so it might, you know, might not consider it legitimate or whatever. And also, you'll still have Grim Child, <laughs> which is kind of funny. But the actual Charm effect of Carefree Melody will still happen during the fight. So if you're someone that wants to use Carefree Melody, you can still use it. It's just not quite, you know, proper or legitimate because it only costs two charm notches. By the way, the only reason he was a full Grim Child was because I hadn't... Now if I do it, it would just be a baby Grim Child. <laughs> that might be a little bit more fairer. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you found it helpful if you were trying to um, install, you know, if you wanted to fight the Any Radiance mod and you weren't sure how, or if you were having some issues. Um, consider subscribing to my channel. I'm already trying to get to a thousand subscribers up to 615. So if you found this helpful and you see I can cover um, Hollow Knight, but also other games as well, I'd really appreciate it if um, you can subscribe. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.